I think about it, sir. She's my best friend. It's been almost four years since his sister was murdered. But for Ron Prouty Jr., who asked us not to show his face, the grief is as real as yesterday. She's my only sister. Me and her did everything together. And then to see him take her from us, just not right. James Robarge was convicted of killing his wife Kelly in 2013 on the day she filed for divorce. Today, he took his case to the Supreme Court looking for a new trial. One issue, his lawyers argued, is that cell phone evidence presented to the jury was unreliable. Evidence that placed Robarge near where prosecutors say he beat Kelly to death. The error here was not harmless because this was a circumstantial case. No witness saw Mr. Robarge with the victim on that day. No witness saw him with her body. And no witness saw him at the spot where her body was later found. But prosecutors say their circumstantial case was overwhelming, with blood and DNA tying Robars to the murder, and that the cell phone evidence was just one link in the chain that pointed directly at him. This is technology that has proven to be a very important tool to law enforcement in investigating crimes and helping find missing persons. And so the state's position has been that we have satisfied our burdens to show that this evidence is reliable. The Supreme Court is expected to make a decision in this case in about three to six months. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.